Hello, welcome back to the channel. So I thought I would do a wee video just showing off some of the miniatures I've finished painting. I've actually just finished our Winter Grenadier Army, Winter German Army for bolt action. So I thought I'd show it off and show off some of the details. So as you can see, what I'm showing off first is the basic infantry. Now I do have three 10-man sections. A basic Mechanica Standard Grey, Agrax Earthshade, highlighted back up again. The weapon is the basic Black Templar contrast paint over the grey. And the skin I've painted Wraithbone and then put Gloom and Flesh contrast paint on. Wood and metal as needed. Base is a dead easy. It's still a mud from Games Workshop, which is dark brown. Dry brushed with Steel Agent Drab and then a bit of Valhalla and Blizzard on top. So sections are 10. Winter Grenadiers have a machine I say I keep saying winter grenadines, winter Germans have a machine gun section for, for each group of 10. Uh, this guy here, he's a guy carrying extra ammunition. The long thing underneath the ammunition pack that is spare barrels for the machine gun. You've also got an entrenching tool there, water canister, hand grenade, a wee bit of blanket roll. What you call bread bag as well. So three squads of ten. Each squad's got a sergeant, a squad leader. So ten to use models. Squad leaders generally have a machine gun assault rifle. Give them a map or binoculars. You'll also find some Germans with canisters on them. Those were the gas masks, which were very rarely used. One of the reasons uh, the Germans never used gas in World War II was they used a lot of horse for transport and they didn't really have a good enough gas mask system for horses. So the feed, if they used gas, the Allied would use gas and then there would be uh, problems with getting the, keeping the supplies with all the horses. Now, I do have a third section which isn't on here. But when I built this, I also uh, uh, built another 12 guys. So I use them as two squads of six with the machine guns. Or a unit of 10 with one machine gun. If I'm playing defensive games, I probably want the extra firepower, so I might use the units of six. If I'm going to games where I'm, I'm the attacker, I want the extra morale bonus. So I'll go with a full squad of 10. This one here, I've given this guy one of the SS Fezzers, and this is a bit of a homage to Sven Hassel's, where you'll find the main characters in those books often wearing assorted headgear. So that's the infantry, and they're all plastic. I take these off just now, and I'm going to put on the the metal support weapons from the for the platoon. So as I say, I've got three squads of ten, which will take me up to a regular infantry platoon. Plus, I've got twelve models I can add in, either as two groups of six or one group of ten, as extra troops coming to reinforce the squad. So I'll put these down and then I'll talk about what I've done with these fellas. Now I love the winter German metals, especially the command stuff, so let's have a look. So this couple of guys here, these are my spotters, obviously with the binoculars. I think I actually might have borrowed at least one of these guys from the mortar or machine gun teams and replaced them with the needle and down plastic guy. He's on the radio there, radioing in the positions. Bet it makes a lovely wee diorama. Simple bit of red cross on the helmet there to show off he's a medic. Bit of red cross work on the armbands and, and the back as well. Machine gun team. Like I say, so I could use... The metal spotter, I believe, elsewhere. This guy's actually just a plastic kneeling down model. A couple of spare bits on to bulk up the team. And same again with this mortar team, where this guy is one of the plastic models looking at a map or a document. He's a, my officer. Now, bot action, you're always going to have a choice here. 
with your officer of whether you take them as a small team to begin with. And the bonus of that is it's minus one to hit if the team is two or less models. Or give them the extra wound, but it would be a normal, normal to hit. So three guys, normal to hit. But as soon as one guy gets killed, then you'd be at the minus one to hit. But I really like these models. This was really interesting uh, jacket. Hopefully the colours will show through. So I actually painted that a brown and then I put the black shade, the black Templar contrast over it to make it look like a really black, really dark leather. And finally, a sniper team. Because I'm going to be, these guys are going to be fighting in, in Stalingrad quite a bit. So that's my support elements. And so far, I also have some armor. So I'll bring this around. So this is. Panzer IV, just a really simple paint scheme on it. I've done lots of winter camouflage before where I'd paint something like to this level and then I'd use a sponge to a sponge on white paint. Actually, often the, the foam parts of a, it within a blister pack. But yeah, nice simple thing. This was actually a, a resin tank that I built. I was a bit weird about working with resin. I'd heard a lot of horror stories about getting it together and stuff, but actually this came together really nicely. Normally I put a bit more weathering on my tank as well. But I've kept that as is. And like I say, I think that weed transfers on these fellas really do help the model stand out. And here we come to a model, which was the last thing I finished for this army. I really enjoyed painting it in similar sort of style to the to Panzer IV before. And it's a Marder, so tank destroyer. It's got the exposed crew. And I painted it in a similar style to the one before. <clears throat> and what that is, I put down all my base quartz, put Agrax Earthshade over, over it, and then hopefully this comes up. I haven't been perfectly smooth putting the paint back over top to give it, you can kind of see a bit of kind of dirt coming through. I'm just looking there, oh, I've managed to make this this transfer slightly off center that will nag me but there you are that's my marder a nice simple paint job on the crew really enjoyed painting it normally my unit can only take one tank that's for sure uh, but i've done two so it gives me the choice of, of what i want to take as well and it came in the Stalingrad box set, so I had it to build anyway. So there you go, that's my Winter German Force. Normally comes in, what well, I've just showed you, comes in about a thousand points if everything's regular, depending on which, which armor vehicle I take. So there we are, that's my Winter Germans. Really enjoyed painting them. Really enjoyed the models. Not a lot else to say. Hope you're having a great time wargaming at the moment, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. That's goodbye.